So this problem says if a rock is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 10 meters per second, its height in meters after t seconds is given by h is equal to 10t minus 1.86 t squared. And we want to find the velocity of the rock after one second. So keep in mind that this function is a height function, which is a type of a distance function. So if you have a distance function, which could be represented as a height function, as it is in this example, if you take the derivative of that function, you get the velocity function. So the derivative of any distance function is a velocity function. And that's because a derivative is a change in y over change in x. So the y would be the height, it's the change in height or distance, over change in x, which in this case is time. So if you have a change in height or distance over, cha over change in time, that is like a distance over time, which is the same thing as speed or velocity. So, because this problem is from a section on li limits, on the derivative as a limit, let's find this derivative using the limit, the limit definition. So, let's use that the limit as h approaches zero, and I'm using the h approaches zero limit definition. You could use a different definition, um, but this is the one that I'm choosing to use today. The limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So in order to plug in our function into this limit, we need to first find the limit of, excuse me, the function of x plus h. So let's come to this side and h plugging in, and I'll plug in t plus h because the function variable is t in this case, t plus h would be equal to 10 times t plus h minus 1.86 times t plus h squared. And the reason I'm doing this to the side is so that I can simplify it before I plug it back into my formula. So distributing my 10, I get 10t plus 10h. And I'm going to subtract 1.86 times. Because I have two terms that are squared, I need to write them out separately and distribute. So t plus h times t plus h, I'm going to distribute that, just bring down t times t is t squared, t times h is th, h times t is another th or th, I'll just write it in the same direction as last time and then an h squared. Combining like terms, I get t squared, th plus th is 2th, and then bring down the h squared. So now I can get rid of my last parentheses by distributing my negative 1.86. So 10t plus 10h minus 1.86t squared minus, if I do 1.86 times 2, that is 3.72. T 
pH and minus 1.86 H squared. Okay, do I have any like terms I can combine from here? I have a T, an H, a T squared, a TH, and an H squared, so that is fully distributed out, and I can now plug that in to my limit function, or my limit expression. So I have my limit as H approaches zero of 10T plus 10H minus 1.86 T squared minus 3.72 TH minus 1.86 H squared. So that's all just the F of X plus H part. Now I need to subtract out just the original function. So I can just take my original function and I'll put it in a parentheses because there's more than one term. 10T minus 1.86 T squared. And all of that is over H from my H in my function. Let me, there we go. Okay, from here I can distribute my negative. So let me just actually copy. can so that's a square and then I'll distribute to the 10 T to make that a negative and then a negative times a negative is a positive plus 1.86 T squared okay so now let me see if I have any like terms I can combine I have a 10t and a negative 10t, those can cancel. I have a negative 1.86t squared and a positive 1.86t squared, so those can also cancel. So what I'm left with is the limit as h approaches zero of 10h minus 3.72th minus 1.86 h squared all over h. So now I have an h in every term. So I'm gonna factor out an h into the front to make the limit as h approaches zero of h times 10 minus 3.72 t minus 1.86 H and that's all over H. Those That factor of H on top and bottom can cancel out and I wanted that to happen so that um, when I plug in my zero that that doesn't make my denominator go to zero. So what I'm left with here is the limit as H approaches zero of 10 minus 3.72t minus 1.86h. So now I can do my substitution for my h going to zero. That makes this term go to zero. And it leaves me with 10 minus 3.72t. So that is my derivative function. So since my derivative of my distance is my velocity, this is my velocity function. So since I'm trying to find the velocity of the, of the rock after one second, I can plug in one in for t. And that makes 10 minus 3.72 times one. And simplifying 10 minus 3.72, is 6.28 and just to put a unit to that my distance function was in meters and my um, my time was in seconds so that will be a fractional unit of the distance which is meters over the time which is seconds and that would be my final answer for this problem
So this problem does have multiple parts. I will be working some more of those parts in a different, in like in a part two slash three of this um, of this problem. So make sure to check out, or I'll put a link to those um, in just a moment. And I hope this video helps you. If it if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well as any other problem that you would like to see a step-by-step -step solution on like this one. Thanks for watching.